Hey YouTubers, uh, this is a Percy Miss here, back for the part two of the cutout shirt tutorial. So, I hope you've saved your shoulder straps, or you will not be able to do this. And if you have, there's no problem with going back and reaching in trash and getting them out, because you do not want to miss out on making a cute hair accessory. So first, take we'll take our two um, cutout pieces and turn them right side, well, right side to right side. These are my two right sides, and I will turn them, we'll place them together. And how do you know that you have the right side is the fact that your seams will be facing outward. For this project, you will need your cutout pieces, some straight, th about the same things you used for the first um, tutorial. You'll need your straight pins, scissors, and for this tutorial, I'm using a sewing machine because it's a lot faster than hand sewing. If you do not have a sewing machine, you can hand sew this. And I am just going to pin my cutout pieces together. And this is, I want to even it out, so I'll just cut along the edges, or the uneven places to even them. Um, save a piece about, that's at least this, and width, at least. has some width to it because you'll need that for the band of your hair bow. I will come back with my sewing machine and show you how I sew this. So I'm ready to sew my cutout shoulder pieces. So first take you verbally through the steps before I actually start sewing you're going to want to mark off an inch space so that you I have this corner space right here marked with a pen so that I can use that as an open space for my um, to turn my hair my bow inside out so I'll start and remember to back stitch your beginning and your end so that your stitches stay Should I actually flip that the other way take this piece after you've sewn all all around except for a little portion of your shoulder cut out. You're going to turn it inside out. We're going to choose which direction you want your hair bow to go. I want mine to go this way so I have a long bow. And on your longest stitch, or even with your hand sewing, you can do longer stitches or bigger stitches. But if you are using a sewing machine, you know what a gathering stitch is. So where you want your center of your bow to be, do a gathering stitch. And do not back stitch this and pull your bobbin thread and my bobbin thread is black colored and that will just gather your bow like so so I have 
don't know if I can show you. I have white thread. That's what I'm sewing with. And then I have black thread. That's my bobbin thread for my sewing, sewing by machine. hand. But if most you're likely will be doing a sewing double with double threads. So pull one of your threads while holding the other side so that it makes like a gathering look like this after you're done with that. And for our band, take your scraps that I told you to strap to save and Okay. This is my widest scrap piece. So I am going to sew this. So as with the bow, the main bow piece, we turned that inside out. We're gonna do the same with. And this. I will come back on camera um, with the roof. I'm back, step. and now you want to decide which side will be your inside and outside of your bow. Mine is sort of already chosen for me because this side sort of curves inward so that will be my inside so you take your inside and face it upward and then cut off any excess strings from your sewing like I'm going to cut my gathering threads and after you've chosen your outer and inner pieces. Take your band piece, this is mine, and wrap it around to meet the inside. And I'm going to take a pen, a straight pen, and pin the two ends of my band piece together. The next step, you need a sewing needle. If you've been hand sewing this, your needle will already be thread, threaded. So if you have not, then thread a needle, preferably the same color or near color, to your shirt. I'm using the same color that I used on mine yesterday. It was a brown color for this leopard print. And Here is my bow. Cute! Very cute. Okay, with this, you can either do two things and I have other another one that I made from my other shirt and you can buy headbands or you may already have headbands or barrettes that you may want to use. I have this type of barrette, this headband and you can just use the these for anything. Like you can switch out your hair bow onto your headband or a barrette. And here is the one that I made from the first shirt on a headband. I just slide that on. That's why I made a band so that I can slide it on to anything. And I will show you how to do the one I just made on a hair bow. And you can just slide that through. very easy hope you enjoyed it and now you have a matching accessory with your shirt so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial there will be more to come originality cannot be bought 
but it can be made. Thank you. Comment, rate, or subscribe.